Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be featuring Eagle Moss's Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 7, stage 24. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 24 for issue 7. In stage 24, we assemble the rear left safety belt parts and attach the rear left seat to the interior base. We have three steps on the first page here on the right, and then we flip it over and we have seven total steps. It takes us step by step on the, the safety belt itself and installing it. So I'll get the parts out, we'll get a closer look, and then we'll start the assembly. Here's the parts pack for stage 24. And you can see we have one of the seats in there and the belts. So I'll go ahead and take these out, we'll get a closer look. Be right back. Here's a close-up of the parts. Here's the rear left seat. Of course we have the safety belt itself, the material there. We have the seat belt pin 2 and pin 4. We also have the seat belt clip and the seat belt buckle. They gave us GP screws and HM screws. So let's get started. And here's a closer look at the seat belt components and you can see seat belt pin number 2 is on the right and seat belt pin number 4 is on the left. So they are marked and you won't get them confused. So we've got to pay attention to that as we're assembling the belt. Step one, we attach the seat belt buckle. And you want to make sure you do it the right direction. And if you see here, you see how the buckle, the buckle side here faces the inboard side of the seat. It simply just snaps in to the slot there on the seat. And we'll just press fit it in. Just like that. Next we take our seat belt pin and we feed our seat belt through it. Goes in on the second notch there. You can see that. We'll fold it over. We put it through the other side. Pull it through. And you can kind of see how it feeds through that right there. Make it tight. Then that will secure down onto our seat back on the interior base. We'll take and put that down. There is an alignment pin right here and there's one on the interior base. This is on the driver's side back. We'll snap that in. Line it up. Just like that. And we put an HM screw in. Nice and tight. And that's what the seatbelt looks like. 
Okay, the next step is we feed our seat belt through the seat. And there's a notch there. It's going to go through. Can you kind of see it there? There you go. And we'll just feed it through. Just like that. Okay. It also notched in on the back, so there's two mounting points. So we're going to put two screws in here and two up there. They'll all be GP screws. And the next one up there. And then two more to go. And one more. And nice and tight. Now we'll see what it looks like all installed there. Fantastic. Looks great so far. And what they want us to do lastly here with this seat is we install the buckle onto that. So here's your here's your buckle. Feed that through the seat belt. like that and that's gonna go just gonna pull that down just a little bit there and on top our seat belt is gonna go through that notch right there and to help it along I'm gonna modify it, the slot a little bit and open it up in the back I'm going to get a closer look so you can see what I'm doing. See, it's kind of small looking. I'm just going to open it up some so we can get the seatbelt through it. I'm taking a number 11 X-Acto blade. There we go. Opened it up just a little bit to help me out. Any of the tools you see me using in this video, you can pick those up at my Amazon store. So now, let's put the belt through it. Hold it in place. Pull it over. You can see it's sticking through there. I will get my tweezers out pull it through. Turn it over again and there we go. Looks great. There's an overall overall view of the seat. Push that down a little bit. There you go. And looks great. So I'll be right back. So our last step, step seven, we're going to secure the seat belt with our number four belt pin. And that's going to be done on the back side here. So we have our seat belt positioned how we like it on the front. 
going to flip it over and we're going to feed that through just like we did before. Just like that. Go back around with it. And we'll pull that through. Use my tweezers a little easier. There we go. And like we did before on this, there is a tab that this lines up with on the bottom. Goes down on. We are going to secure that down with an HM screw like we did before. You can kind of see that, I hope. They even have it numbered number four on the body shell too, so that's pretty cool. And that's it. That is all we do for stage 24. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like. If you don't subscribe already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this. It's available for pre-order right now, but by the time you watch this, it might be available for full order. So do yourself a favor, get this one. This one is uh, very technical in nature and a lot of fun to build. So with that, stay tuned for Stage 25. Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.